Hi, I'm James, and in today's video I'm taking a look at something a little bit different, which is this, the AA Wireless uh, Android Auto Wireless Adapter. Uh, I got this via an Indiegogo campaign. The campaign had already completed, but they still sell the device uh, to purchase. It took a little bit of a wait for this to come through, having ordered it in end of April, and it came through this month, July. Um, and I think there are various lead times because they make these in quite small batches and ship them as they're built. Anyway, inside, and we have, we open the box. Very simple, we have a USB to USB-C cable for connecting the adapter up. And then here we have the adapter itself with AA wireless branding on the top a reset pin, a power indicator, and the USB-C plug. There are no other buttons and nothing really else of note. It is quite small and compact, um, you know, it's sort of four centimetres or two inches roughly uh, square, and a couple centimetres thick. Um, there are no instructions included on the uh, in the box itself, Purely a, you can either scan the QR code here or go to aawireless.app. And obviously, as the name implies, this is only for Android Auto devices, not for Apple CarPlay. Anyway, what we're going to do is go out to the car and uh, look further on the, in the car and on the phone. So now in the car, we just have to connect our USB lead into the car's port and plug in into the adapter itself. So with that tucked in there we can see this fits very nicely in this little uh, armrest compartment. Turning our attention to the phone and we have to find the AA wireless uh, app in the Play Store and install that onto the device. On launching it, we then have a few steps to run through. I sign mine in with a Google account. And having completed that, we are then given some instructions on how to set up the Android Auto app to enable developer settings or development settings and switch on wireless projection. At the bottom here, we find we have a link into the AA settings. And by scrolling down through, we go to the bottom until we find the version info and we need to press on that 10 times. It will tell us we're about to enable developer mode and then give us a confirmation. And after we have done that, we need to find the menu button in the top right. Press on that and choose developer settings. It's then simply a case of ticking the add wireless projection to settings and we are ready to get started. This then walks us through, so starting the car, plugging in the device which we've already done, and searching for the AA wireless device. I found it didn't actually detect this for me. Um, I manually added it under Bluetooth. Whether that is just a quirk with my phone, I'm not too sure. Um, but once I did that, it then in the app picked it up immediately and I was able to proceed. We get some permissions. We want to connect to the Wi-Fi network despite no internet access. Uh, on my phone, I did have to enable an option to uh, use internet via 4G while it's connected on wireless. And once it is completed, we go through to the main settings screen for the AA wireless device. And from here, I checked if there were any updates. This unit, obviously being shipped fairly recently, did not have any updates required for it. And having done that, we can then see if we pull down that despite the fact the phone is not plugged in, is not on charge, we can see in here that we have a connection to Android Auto. Getting in the car with everything switched off. So putting in our key, so this is all with the phone running in my hand. Going through the menus, everything is really pretty smooth. One thing I did notice is it likes to um, to play some of the sounds through the phone. Um, this may well have been the case through Android Auto normally and I just hadn't noticed it before, 
but overall using it it's all pretty smooth this isn't the highest resolution display um, but there's no real noticeable lag or issues with it so pretty impressive first impressions and something that I will be using pretty regularly uh, as this is going to be really useful where just sometimes you just hop in the car on a short trip and don't necessarily want to go through plugging the phone in uh, in that armrest and then having to remember to pick it up at the other end you just want to get in the car have everything set and go testing this in a Skoda with the fairly standard VW head unit and from pressing the start button on the car and so yes around 20 seconds again this case we have the touchscreen everything responds as we would expect we can go back to the Skoda head unit there and so yes around 20 seconds again this case we have the touchscreen everything responds as we would expect we can go back to the Skoda head unit there good and um, obviously doing this through wireless you are going to have shorter battery life than if you um, if you're plugging the phone in where it would be charged but for quick trips it's certainly a very easy and convenient option we can still also use the rotary controls to go through things or with this we can use the touch screen and you can see response is really really good and um, obviously doing this through wireless you are going to have shorter battery life than if you um, if you're plugging the phone in where it would be charged but for quick trips it's certainly a very easy and convenient option so all in all quite impressive um, obviously there was a little bit of a stumble on the setup where I had to manually connect to the Bluetooth device um, but this is a quite unusual car for it to be connecting into and it still has picked it up no problem um, what I will probably be doing is um, adding a Android Auto unit to one of my other cars which doesn't have easily accessible USB ports and that means I will be able to use Android Auto in that as well and I will probably buy a couple of these devices just because it does make things very convenient. So really nice simple device, easy to set up other than that one little hiccup initially um, and actually at, I think it is around £55 plus shipping, pretty reasonably priced as well. If you have any questions, uh, obviously I will be using this personally and trying different things out with it. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.